Tonight I'm training back and it's July 4th. So we're gonna do a bunch of different back exercises. I don't know how many yet, but probably around the 16 to 18, maybe 20 range. Just depends on how I feel. So I am getting closer, I think six weeks out to my show. So the diet's getting more strength and I'll be doing some diet videos and cardio videos coming up soon. As well as start building the exercise database. I'm gonna start cleaning up some more so I don't look so hairy. If you guys see the videos and stuff, but I'm, when I get ready for shows and stuff like that, I really just don't care about anything else. I just focus on work, training, and that's it, and I let myself go. But then as it gets closer to the show, I start cleaning up more. I start getting fine-tuned, unless I have an appearance. Then um, I start going to the mindset and the different role of being this athlete, being this, being the champion and stuff like that, and I go for the kill. Do I worry about the other guys? Not at all. I don't fear them. I don't stress about it. It's just another day to me at the office, but it's a hobby to me. So this is more like a, a very passionate hobby. So with that being said, we're going to do back. We're going to start with the lat pull down and go from there. So let's do this. First set, I'm going to work with the lat pull down to the front. I'm going to use a medium grip, not a wide grip. Right about here, where it starts to curve. I'm just gonna put my pinkies right there. I'm gonna pull down the front. I'm gonna use wraps. I'm gonna use wraps to take the emphasis out of the hands, so I focus on the back. Some people are like, well, I'm gonna use, I'm gonna just not use wraps. I'm just gonna use my hands because it's gonna build my forearms. Well, that's good for you. My concept is I'm trying to build a big back, so I'm trying to take all the emphasis out of everything else except my back. So. I use wraps so it relieves my hands strain so I can focus more on my back. And that's why I do. So exhale going down, inhale going up. So this is my first warm-up set. I'm gonna do about three, and then I'm gonna start my uh, my work So I'm gonna go down to my chest, I'll show you. It's just like this. Breathe out, breathe in, breathe out, breathe in. So that's that's how I'm gonna do it. I'm just gonna get a rhythm. Set. Next one's going to be the working set, and we're going to go into it. This gets 200 pounds on it, so I'm going to do about four working sets. I'm not sure exactly, maybe five. So I'm going to film the first one and film the last one. So here we go. Find the rhythm. I'm aim for about 12, 15 reps, depending on how I feel. Fifth working set. It was between 12 and 15 reps. I've been getting this about 12 reps, so I may do more, I may do that. It's just getting heavy now. So my back's really starting to get warmed up and good at it. Focus on the squeeze. Second exercise, I'm going to do a reverse pull down. Um, instead of just regular, it's like bring your palms towards your face. And I'm going to pull it down to the top of my chest or chin level. And it's really about focusing on the squeeze, driving the elbows downwards. It brings in some of the serratus. It's stretched up. The, the back wraps around certain ways, like lap pull down, like in front, it'll within you from. It'll make you wider like a cobra. So when you do rows from front to back, looking from the side, it'll make you thicker. But as you 
as you have your arms wrapped forward, it wraps around your the last, going your last forward bone. I probably didn't make one sense whatsoever, but in my head it does. Anyway, I don't use wrist wraps on here. It's hard for me to set into place with wraps. And um, it pulls on my wrist a little bit, so I'm, I'm always cautious how much weight I use. It's really just, I'll do more reps if, if, to compensate for the weight if it need to be. So this is on 170, and this is set number one. Set number three, this is 220. So for my third Exercise I'm going to do a dumbbell row. Now everybody's used to putting their one feet up on the bench and doing it like this. Well, I have a problem because of my knees and my feet and my ankles and stuff I can't feel from lower body parts and stuff. So I I do a dumbbell row like a football stance, as you'll see in a second. I'll still keep the alignment just like if I'm I keep my back straight, just like if I'm in on the bench, but it's just well, it's more of a football stance. This is 95 pounds, so I'm just going to go up, down. So this gives me a security, and I lock into place here, and yeah, so. And for some reason, I don't like using wrist wraps on this, and this isn't heavy enough to really even focus on my form anyway. So I'm just going to go up, down. Switch to the other side. There we go on this side. All right, your stance may be a little bit funny. The whole concept is to stretch it out a little bit, contract it. Out, in. So, probably do two more sets, and that's it. I may keep it just the same weight, I don't know yet, but it's not about weight for me up here. It's about a contraction in the back. A stretch, then a contraction. Set three, kept everything the same. So, here we go. Between sets, I stretch, and I'll just grab something and lean forward. I'm going to stretch out the lats. I do one arm at a time to really lean in. It really helps stretch out the lats like that. So I lean in, stretch it out. Sometimes I'll hold it for 10, 15 seconds. Others, I'll just lean in, lean in like this. Stretch, stretch, stretch. That's it. In between. It's not like I'm gonna sit and plan to go stretch for 5, 10, 20 minutes, like many people do. Forget that, this is in between sets. That's how I like doing it. Other people do it, hey, that's good. Great for you, but not for me. So find the happy medium that works for you. Last exercise, I'm gonna do a cable close, uh, a cable rope. 
necessarily going close and stuff like that. It's called cable growth. And I'm going to play, place my feet. i got to place it close because my knees buckle inwards. But for, for a person that, you know, have no problems or whatnot, keep it about shoulder width apart. Or if you can't get in this situation, just brace yourself against something to the very edge, extend this, do warm up one arm at a time. Just find a way. And in the tips, in the exercise database under tips, I'm going to give all sorts of tips and tricks about how to adjust your workouts according to make this stuff work for you, regardless of the certain situation. I'm trying the best I can to help you guys. All right. For about three, four sets, maybe, aim for about 12, 12 reps. That's what I'm throwing tonight. Stretch it. Stretch it and then a big chest. Squeeze the back. That's where I'm concentrating. Squeeze. Squeeze. I don't know how many reps that was. I'll focus on stretch, squeeze, stretch, squeeze. Really concentrate. It's a mind muscle connection that you're going to find a happy medium. So that's a little trick right there. This is my third working set, so it's up to 180 plus, I guess I had these things on the whole time, I don't know. I wasn't really paying attention. I just put weight. I lift weight up, I put weight down. All right. 12 to 15, unless it feels too heavy, and I'll put it down to before 12 to 15. Have to eat it. Bodybuilding isn't all about hardcore and dungeon style. I can dim the lights if you guys want to let me know, but I'd rather just enjoy myself. Hey! One, two! and a half for 14.6. So, whoa! Wheelchair Athletics Foundation is a 501c3 nonprofit that provides and supports disabled athletes. Please support our cause. Volunteer, donate funds, mail items for the eBay store.